what are the rules? When you get married and you really don't know what to do next, you got to go and find out the rules. So to me, those rules are simple. Love each other with all your heart and never ever change because you're both perfect. I love you both. Erica is the truest definition of what it means to be a friend. Everyone wanted to be her friend, uh, but not in your typical popular girl way that was too exclusive. Erica was nice. Uh, the, the easy kind of nice that was genuine, it was thoughtful, it was welcoming, it was present. Uh, she makes you feel like you and whatever you have going on is the most important part of her day without fail. Won't you fill the room without a whisper when we were younger? And I held my breath and like it was my last one, but you stayed there right in front of us. You stayed there right in front of us. When we were young, Tommy. It's wonderful to have you in our family, and obviously you've made a great impression on Erica. But know too that you have on Rachel, myself, and our family. We love you and admire you straight up for the fine person that you are, the values and integrity that you have, the caring, deep relationships that you have with your mom, dad, grandparents, brothers, and friends. We just truly want you to know how much we love, care, and respect you for the wonderful person you are. Erica and Tommy, I have watched in awe as have you've grown into an amazing couple and dare I say soulmates. I'm so honored to be a small part of the life you're creating and to be celebrating here with you today. I admire how you cultivate and cherish the relationships and the friendships that you've made here, um, the relationship that you've built on a strong foundation of love and trust. And I can say without hesitation that the best is yet to come for you both. Today you became husband and wife, and after a pit stop in paradise for your honeymoon, you'll be back to normal and ordinary life. My hope for the both of you is to not be fooled by what some will call ordinary. Instead, I hope that you will always know how truly extraordinary it is to fall deeper in love with the same person every single day for the rest of your life. So, Everyone would please do me the favor. Raise a glass to our best friends, to Sally's mom and dad, and to the new Mr. and Mrs. Irvin. Cheers to you. Oh my goodness.
And now may God the eternal keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you generous friends. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And Tommy, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Yeah. You ready? Um, so there are a few stories last night about Tom's athleticism. I think Jeff said a story about a backflip. We're in the backyard and Tom goes, I think I'm gonna try to do a backflip. And he did a backflip right away on the first try. And it was insufferable. Um, <laughs> we were swimming in the pool, like three feet, four feet shallow end. And he had just seen a video where like a UFC fighter jumps out of the pool. And Tom goes, maybe I can do that. And he did it on his first try. He jumped right out of the pool, right onto the side of the pool, and you know, I didn't even try because he keep whatever. Um, but yeah, so anyway. This speech is a long time in the making. Um, we actually used to have a, uh, a note tab in our phone that we would keep a list of funny stories and would-be table seating assignments just for tonight. Number two and three on the list, just the first names of her ex-boyfriends. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so I've never been a maid of honor before, but I did Google how to do the speeches, and you know what wasn't on there? Your ex-boyfriends. 